to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent. I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about the 38 CFR Book C, which is the schedule for rating disability. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk only on YouTube. And if you're a veteran and love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. So now that we gotten that out the way, let's get into our top. If you're a veteran with a service-connected disability, you may have heard of the VA rating schedule, but what exactly is it and how does it affect you? The VA schedule is a document used by the United States Department of Veteran Affairs to assess and assign disability ratings for service-connected disabilities. This means that if you have a disability that is related to your military service, the VA will use this document to determine how severe your disability is and what level of compensation and benefit you are eligible for. The schedule provides a list of various medical conditions and disabilities, along with specific criteria for evaluating the severity and impact of each condition. It outlines the criteria for assigning disability ratings ranging from 0% to 100%, with higher rating indicating a more severe disability. So how does the VA determine your disability rating? The ratings are based on a level of impairments and how it affects your ability to perform activities of daily living, work, and engaging in social interaction. The schedule covers a wide range of physical and mental health conditions, including but not limited to multi-skeletal disorders, respiratory conditions, and cardiovascular disease, mental health disorders, and sensory impairments. It is important to note that the VA schedule rating can be complex and it is advisable for veterans to work with a qualified veteran service officer or attorney specializing in veterans benefits to navigate the rating process. These professionals can help ensure that you receive the compensation and benefit that you are entitled to. In conclusion, if you have a service-connected disability, the VA schedule is an important document that will determine your level of compensation and benefits. By understanding how it works with a qualified professional, you can ensure that you receive the support you need and deserve. I know that there are a lot of veterans out there who like to go to many different organizations to get help with this because, again, this can be a difficult situation to try to go through for yourself. But if you was one of those people like me who like to go and do things on your own, this is where you go to find out how to and what to do when it comes to applying for compensation and pension. What you can do is you can go to the 38 CFR book C and you can look and search for your, you know, disability. You know, if you found out that you have any mental health issues, as you see me scroll down, there's so many different topics on here to where if you need, to find out, okay, you know, how is the VA rating my current situation that I'm going through? You can find out how they basically evaluate you during this process. So what I wanted to do was show you what this manual was, but then I'm also going to take you through one of the actual diagnoses on this screen and I'm going to show you how the VA looks at your situation. So what you would do is you would you know, scroll through, you will find exactly what it is that you're going through, and then you would click on it. So today we're going to go over a schedule rating for a mental disorder, because I know this is a big one for a lot of veterans. A lot of veterans out there have mental disorders. So I just really wanted to use one of them in, as an example so that we can go through that information so that you can understand what it is that the VA is looking for. So when they're doing their actual testing or they are going through, you know, your process for compensation and pension, they're going to go by their list to basically rate you at 10, 30, 40, 50, you know, up to 100%. So as you can see here, um, we can see all of these um different diagnoses for mental health, you know, from schizophrenia all the way down to, you know, mood disorder. They got, you know, so many different categories within those boxes. So the way they do, if you look on the screen, you can see um for 
you know, 940, which is chronic adjustment disorder, most veterans are trying to figure out why they aren't rated higher than what they're rated at. So if you come here and you look, if it's a zero, the reason why they diagnose it at zero is because a mental health condition has been formally diagnosed, but the symptoms are not severe enough either to interfere with occupation or social functioning or to require continuous medication. So if they gave you a zero, this is exactly why they gave you a zero. Now we can go up here and we can see for those who get a hundred percent as far as, you know, them diagnosing them at a hundred percent. This is why. Cause they say total occupational and social impairment due to such symptoms as gross impairment and thoughts, process or communication, persistent delusions or hallucinations, gross inappropriate behavior, persistent danger of harming self or others imminent inability to perform activities of daily living, including maintenance or minimum personal hygiene, disoriented to time or place, memory loss of names of close relatives, own occupation, or other names. So whenever a person's getting paid at 100%, as far as for, like, this, let's just say for mental health, this is the reason why that person receives 100% for mental health because they have these different, you know, um, things going on that causes them to be rated at a hundred percent. So when a doctor asking you questions, they're going to look for all of these things within this category for a hundred percent. They're going to look for all these things. If they're going to rate you at a hundred percent for that, they're going to look for all these things. If they're going to, you know, or at least majority of them, if they're going to do put you at 70%, so this is basically what you need to use as far as, okay, when they ask you questions, this is what this is where they're coming from. This is their guideline. So if you're doing things outside of their guidelines, then that pretty much explains why you may have complication. And this is not me telling you to go study this and lie to, you know, get your rating up. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm actually educating you on how the VA go about doing what they do and ensuring that you know where to go so that if you are writing a letter on the behalf of someone else or yourself, this is where you can go to get the information from to help your situation out so that you will know why when you receive your denial letter, they will pretty much explain to you why they denied you. But at the same time, you can use that denial and look at what they said that you have. And then you can look at what they said they didn't find. And it's all because when they go look at their actual technical manual, 38 CR CFR, this is why. Because what you're saying and what the manual says, it conflicts. So it puts you in a situation where you're not being rated at what you think you should be rated at. And this is why. And I just wanted you to see this so that you understand and know what to do. Because, again, this is the um, problem that most veterans are faced with. And they're having complications with understanding why am I being rated where I'm being rated. And it's because, again, most veterans don't know nothing about, you know, this technical manual or this book, 38 CFR, which is actually on the VA website. And you can actually get this manual off their website. Um, you don't have to just take my word for it. You can go to the VA.gov site and you can actually get this manual. But what I will do is I'm going to put it in the description for all of those veterans out there who may want to find out where to go at. Because, again, the 38 CFR book C is a schedule for rating disability. And this is the VA law book. This is what they go by when it comes to you receiving compensation and pension. You have to make sure that everything that you're telling them lines up with what they're asking for. Because if it doesn't, then that can be the difference between you receiving zero to 100% rating for your disability. And I just really wanted to put this information out there because. When I was faced with certain situations during my fight, I couldn't understand. Like, I'm thinking in my mind, like, okay, 
you know, um, I should be rated at 100% for PTSD because of everything that I was going through. And when I went and I read up on the information that they had in here, I found out that the only reason why I wasn't was because I was not paranoid and schizophrenia. So I understood why I received 70% versus 100% for that. And I was able to go back and look at, you know, um, my plantar fasciitis, trying to figure out, okay, if I got, if I had a permanent profile in the military the whole time for my feet, why am I not being paid 50%? Then when I went and read the technical manual, I found out that um, there were a few things listed on there for me that didn't line up with what the VA had going on. And that's when I understood, okay, this is why I'm not being rated where I believe I should be rated at. And that's why I wanted to take you through this technical manual so that you can see for yourself what's going on. Because your situation may be one of those situations where this is why. There may be a few things that aren't lining up with what you have going on. So, as always, man, don't get discouraged. Don't lose hope. I know there are a lot of you out there who are fighting for disability and you're trying to gather all the information you can to ensure that you have all of the necessary tools and things that you need. Well, I hope that 38 CFR book C would be one of those tools that you put in your pocket and you just, you know, take advantage of what's before you, because again, you don't have to fight this thing alone. This is what vet talk is all about. Me as a veteran talking to you about just things that will help you. I'm not here to harm you. I understand that my platform is not for everybody, and I'm okay with that. All I want to do is to be able to help one veteran. And if that one veteran just be me, then that's I'm fine with that. If that veteran is you, I'm fine with that. But at the end of the day, I just want to pay it forward. So as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince, for Vet Talk. Vet Talk out. <laughs>